everyone, welcome to June Favorites. I had so many things, this was hard to narrow down. I only like to do a few favorites so that I can do appreciations and other things. So these are true favorites and I've mentioned some of them before, but with traveling to China, these really stood out for me. The Invisibobble. I have one in my hair today. I wear it as a high ponytail. Sometimes I do it as a bun, all different things. Love these and swear by them. What's hysterical is I had my hair in a clip and then it was down, but I always wore one of these on my wrist. And one of the girls thought it was a fashion thing. She's like, oh, where'd you get your bracelet? I'm like, it's not a bracelet, it's an Invisibobble. Because the wind would start up and the humidity and so halfway through the day, you need it up and off your neck and it feels so good. And it doesn't leave any marks. I also love this for when I wash my face. It's easy to get in and out of my hair. It doesn't tangle. I love my Invisibobbles. In order to keep the oomph up top, I did my Get Ready With Me where I showed how I do this exact look. And it's these little tiny clips. I love these. I think I got them for under a dollar each off of eBay. I'll put a link below. These are so cute. And when you have your hair down, you can just put that in the top to have the oomph up top there or you can put it up like I have today. And you can also, if you want, kind of capture all of your ponytail and put it under and clip it. There's just so many things you can do. They're very, very little, as you can see, but with the jewels, they just feel pretty to me. And for 99 cents off eBay, you just can't go wrong. I realize that I've mentioned some of this before, but I don't know if I've really emphasized castor oil, making your lashes grow. You put it on a brush, a paint brush, and paint it on here. A mascara wand will only get it more on the lashes. You need it actually on the root in order to get it to grow. But what I love this for is in a mascara. If it's a non-favorite mascara, add a drop to this. Even my favorite mascaras, a couple weeks in, they start to dry out. Add a drop of this. It makes it so it lengthens and thickens, and I just love how it is, just one drop. And it has the benefit of helping to lengthen your lashes because usually I put mine in and then wiggle it on the root before I go up with a mascara wand. So I think I do get a fair bit right along the lash line, and I noticed it really helps. In China and today, my lip look was frequently this LA Girl lip paint, and I love all, the, all of these that I've had. They're fabulous, they last forever. And personally, I like the flat head versus a sponge. I feel like a sponge just gets so messy. I love this flat lip, and I can put it on there, and I can clean it and wipe it off and sterilize it much better. And then I top it with a Wet n Wild liquid catsuit. Today, I happen to have on I'll put the color of the LA Girl Glaze lip paint because I can't find it, but the Wet n Wild one is pink really hard. And I put on this first and then the pink really hard over top. And both of these are long lasting. So together I create my own little color that I enjoy and it makes it long lasting. And in China, I love these. I have all different ones of these liquid cat suits. I haven't tried the metallic and probably won't, but the regular ones, I finish these up if I'm using them consistently, they probably take four to six months to use up. And I love how they're longer lasting and then I can mix my other lipsticks or whatever I want on top. I appreciate my work and the opportunity to go to China. If you haven't seen the blog, I'll link it. I feel so blessed that they would ask me to go and to say that I love my coworkers even more than before the trip says something because we had canceled flights, we had to take trains, we didn't get in until 1.30 in the morning. This is usually when you see people at their worst. They're amazing people and I loved them before and I got to see how cool under pressure they are, how they all work together to solve problems and it just was an amazing group and all of the discussions, they're brilliant people and I just feel, feel so blessed to work with them as well as to have this opportunity to go to China. It really was incredible. And then that being so, said, I am so grateful to be home. I think when you go away, especially somewhere so different from where you live, you really, really appreciate being home. And I want to say specifically, I'm appreciative of Mary Ellen after 60. If you don't follow her, you should. She has such good advice and we talk almost every, I think every day, and she kept emphasizing, Elle, you need your sleep and drink water. Get good sleep and get your sleep back on schedule. And 
all these things she told me, you know, you should do, but her reminders helped me to do it. And it really made a difference with my health because doing the time zones, you know, 15 hour difference on planes for 20 hours and just trying to adjust and keeping up with work when I get back, it would have been very easy to not have focused on these things. So I really appreciate Mary Ellen reminding me how important sleep and water are. For television, we just finished, I think, season two of The Americans. It's the story of Russian spies posing as Americans, living in America during the Ronald Reagan era. And it's very interesting. You do have to suspend reality. It's a television show. I sure hope some of this stuff didn't go on as much as this, but I'm sure some of it did. So I find it very interesting. I love the acting. I love the storylines, even if they're implausible. And both Mark and I enjoy it. And something that we can both enjoy and watch together, that's always a good thing. For crochet, I did a yellow baby blanket, and I, if I can find the pattern, I will post it on my blog. And I am also going to post on my blog, um, I'll just put the link to all the knitting so you can see all the different patterns that I have on there. The patterns for some of these dishcloths that I've done lately, some I've shown before, I re I'd redo the same patterns, I just enjoy them, they're mindless while we're watching television. But some of them, like the moss stitch, which is just knit one per one, and then on the opposite side you knit the knits and purl the pearls, and you have the opposite texture, those make great washcloths. And it really helps me practice with my European holding my, hand, my yarn in my left hand, because I grew up with it in the right hand, so I still have to practice that once in a while in a dishcloth with the knit and the purl. It's a good way to practice that. Olivia is doing really well. She has graduated and there is a million pictures of her graduation. She looks so stunningly beautiful and I'm so happy for her. Now she's still taking exams and when I've talked with her, she's, oh, Auntie, I'm all stressed. I just did my math exam. I'm like, honey, you're gonna do fine. She puts so much pressure on herself and she's young, she needs to enjoy. I also think though that her putting pressure on herself is why she does so well at her hockey or whatever else she sets her mind to. So I guess that's a good thing. And she's gonna be starting to go to the university in Nanaimo in the fall. So that's a really good opportunity for her. So that's all my favorites and thank goodness because it's 108 out here. I have had trains, wind, trains, planes, things that make it so I have to take breaks and wait for the quiet or the stop of the wind. I'm ready to get inside back into air conditioning. <laughs> I hope you're all having a fabulous month and if you want to share something that you've been enjoying, I always love your sharing those tidbits and my getting to know you more. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I really appreciate it and hope you're having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.